Examination of the retrosternal extension of a neck swelling. Retrosternal goiter is defined as goiter with more than 50% of the swelling lying in the mediastinum. Retrosternal goiters can be classified as either primary or secondary. Primary intrathoracic goiters arise from a barren thyroid tissue, which is ectopically located in the mediastinum, receive their blood supply from mediastinal vessels, and are not connected to the cervical thyroid. Extension of a thyroid swelling into the mediastinum is mostly seen in the fifth or sixth decade. Retrosternal goiters are more likely to be left-sided, and very rarely, a left-sided cervical goiter descends into the right side of the chest, which is called a cross-substernal goiter. The patient often complains of difficulty in breathing, due to pressure on the trachea, due to enlarged thyroid. The thyroid is enlarged, to obstruct the esophagus, resulting in dysphagia. On inspection, ask the patient to swallow, if the goiter extends retrosternally, it does not move with deglutition. A retrosternal goiter can be diagnosed on inspection. To perform the test, ask the patient to raise his arms above the head. Obstruction of great veins at the thoracic inlet results in pooling of blood, causing flushing of the face. This is called Pemberton's sign. During palpation, the upper border of the thyroid will be easily palpable, while the lower border will not. Fixity to the skin is checked by gently pinching the skin. Malignant swellings are more commonly fixed to the surrounding structures. Percussion of the manubrium would give a dull note in case of a retrosternal goiter. Investigations such as X-ray and angiography can be used to confirm the diagnosis of retrosternal goiter. Further, USG, CT, and MRI are performed for better visualization of the growth. Most retrosternal goiters are treated surgically since their growth causes pressure symptoms, which worsens the quality of life of the patient. To get more such high yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe. Basidia Med. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.